look at what we have here. A level up event and tech advancement. Hmm. So I've been thinking about taking up a tech champion and I happen to have a tech four to five rank up gem. Who do you suppose I'm going to use that on? I said to myself, if level up event comes along and a tech advancement that I was going to pull the trigger. Let's go take a look at my champions. Let's see here. We'll do a sort by rank. Scroll down. Let's uh, filter five stars here. That's better. Now, we've got OG Vision, we've got Sentinel. I could rank Iron Man up. Let's see who else we got here. We've got Darkhawk down there. Definitely an option, but he's not awakened. So, we are going to go with my boy Sentinel. Let's do it. Look at that. It's your time to shine. And it is done. Sentinel has become my latest rank five, five star. Now, the reason that I was hesitant to take him up unawakened is not because he needs to be awakened. He doesn't need to be awakened. But his awakened ability allows him to gain analysis charges much faster. And as I will show uh, uh, later on, you can gain those analysis charges uh, fairly well. But I plan on using him when I can in Alliance Quest against Omega Red. Uh, we have a boss killer, but sometimes there is sleep when the boss, you know, becomes available. And it would be great if I could also jump in there and take out the boss so that we're not all, you know, just waiting on one person. So that is the reason behind it. Now, I was not sure, and I still am not sure. Uh, let's just go ahead and use one of those. Uh, I'm still not sure whether uh, I'm going to face timeouts, you know, or not. That's my concern. But nothing to it, nothing to it but to try, right? Let's take a look at his uh, attributes real quick here. So you guys can see, you know, his attack rating and all that good stuff. Here's his attributes down here. Switch over to percentages so that you can... Uh, test uh, this against or compare it against some others. Uh, the block proficiency is pretty good. Um, now, I may do another video on him, but just briefly, his whole thing is building up the analysis charges. When he gets to 100% analysis, he is a true beast. So anything that helps him build up his analysis charges faster is good. And he only needs SIG level one. He does not need to have uh, a high SIG level. All right, uh, we can take a look real quick here at his synergies. Okay, just take a look. Not gonna really go into them. All right. And I will give a very brief look here at his abilities. Of course, he's bleed and poison immune. Uh, one thing that you're gonna see later on is how well he stacks those analysis charges against mutants. And that is why I'm not as concerned about him not being awakened. Okay, so you guys can read that, but let's just take a look real quick here. The analysis complete, which means he has all 100% analysis Okay, this is what you gain special one and two they trigger on the targets block So that means even if they're blocking does not matter Okay, 
Charging a heavy attack, he becomes unstoppable. Think of Kingpin. Okay? So, a lot of this stuff is awesome, okay? Now, take a look here. You see right there, designed to hunt mutants. Sentinel gains double analysis charges when facing a target of the mutant class. Okay, now I'm going to show you how useful that is and how you want to play Sentinel unawakened, especially. If he was awakened, it'd be even better. All right, so let's take a look at how Sentinel does against Wolverine in Realm of Legends. Okay, so here we are facing Wolverine in Realm of Legends. Now, the team that I have put together uh, was just to clear up until this point, uh, Ghost and her synergies. Now, Sentinel does have a couple of synergy bonuses active, but they don't really help him in this fight. They're for other classes uh, other than mutant. So the basic strategy here is going to be build up to the analysis charges, 100% analysis, and then work him over with special ones, uh, special twos if I can get them, uh, that sort of thing. And of course we have problems connecting to the network. Okay, here we go. Now, one of the things to do to build up the analysis charges, see if he'll do it, yeah. Hit into his block. That is how you do it especially when you don't have um, him awakened. All right, and he has a heal block on his uh, special one. So I'm not too worried just yet. I'm trying to get him, there we go. And boom, he's at full analysis charge. All right, now what we do, hit that special one you see it does a uh, that heal block and it's a nice heal block too as you can see and you basically just keep on hitting him with that special one okay he hit me but I don't care nope don't care you see how much damage he can take hit him with another heal block just keep on going now, I'm also running Max Despair, so this here, these incinerates, will also help. Even though I don't have the heal block, and then hit him with a heal block. And basically, wash, rinse, and repeat. Now, I am running suicides, and so you see me taking the recoil damage. But, hopefully you guys can see just what a beast he is. Look at that took full hit and what was his health I love Sentinel all right heal block so you don't heal all the way back up again and that heal block lasts a pretty good long time here's his uh, heavy here's that shock hit him with another uh, special two look at the incinerate damage very nice hit him with one more heal block and it's about to be over. Lights out. And that is Sentinel. So, love him. Very happy to rank him up to five. And hopefully, I'll be able to use him effectively against Omega Red in Alliance Quest. Never more than soft coming back with a smack. Feed marathon, I'm a killer on the track. Never more than soft coming back with a smack. Last year, fools never lost his back. Thirsty for blood, and more just like that.
All right, so that's gonna do it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Now a quick post fight analysis. What you see on the screen is the feedback that I got after posting this video up in Alliance chat. My Alliance leader is basically telling me to make contact. So if you notice in the fight, I built up analysis charges by hitting into their block, but that takes time. And he's building up regen as I'm building up my analysis. And on later days, when the fight becomes more difficult, I'm gonna time out. So he's telling me to basically fight like normal. You know, make contact, fight him, and just spam the special one, hit that special two when I can. And hopefully that will prevent me from timing out. So we'll see, I'm gonna try it. So take care everybody, thanks for watching the video. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.